realm of spiritual beliefs, a multitude of individuals find themselves ensnared in the conviction that entities like the devil, falling angels, demons, and malevolence itself are nothing more than fanciful fabrications. Regrettably, they lack awareness of the tangible presence of these entities, having a subtle and complex narrative that transcends the boundaries of their understanding. In the beginning, Lucifer, once heralded as the model of excellence, possessed extraordinary intellect and flawless beauty, as chronicled in the sacred verses of Ezekiel chapter 28. Crafted by the divine hand of God to fulfill the role of the anointed guardian cherub, Lucifer's tragic downfall unfolded when the shadows of arrogance eclipsed his physical charm, compromising his intellect, and leading to the cataclysmic overthrow of his celestial throne to the earthly realm also in Ezekiel chapter 28. The rescinding of Satan's celestial citizenship, a tale told in the sacred scriptures of the book of Job, marked not a complete exile from the heavenly domain, but a bitter shift in his dominion from heaven to earth. Driven by unbridled arrogance, Satan's relentless pursuit is to reclaim his celestial standing, aspiring to rival or even surpass God himself, as foretold in the prophetic verses of Isaiah chapter 14. His fervent desire is to monopolize love, adoration, and loyalty, transcending even the worship of God and divine aspects, including Jesus the Messiah. The overarching objective of Satan's dark endeavor is to redirect adoration away from the one true God. Despite his deceptive guise as an angel of light, Satan and his followers' facade of righteousness are revealed as the originators of falsehoods and murderers from the very outset. In his cunning pursuit, Satan has artfully woven various religions, misleading followers into denying the true God and refuting Jesus' divine nature. Among these, Islam vehemently denies Jesus as the Son of God, fostering animosity towards Jews and Christians. Even though many of Satan's followers are unaware of it, they find themselves worshiping the devil without even realizing it. Since the dawn of creation, Satan has nursed envy and jealousy, fueled by the realization that he was not formed as God's equal and co-ruler of all things. So his wrath intensifies at the acknowledgement that he is not divine like Jesus. And in a desperate attempt to eliminate Jesus, he resorted to crucifixion. Yet Jesus, destined to govern with unyielding authority, triumphantly rose from death and ascended to God's heavenly throne, as foretold in Revelation 12. The prophesied 70th week, detailed in Revelation 12, sees the archangel Michael casting Satan down to earth, denying him any future entry into heaven. Satan relentlessly pursues the remaining descendants of the woman, Israel, safeguarded for 1,260 days during the tribulation, Revelation 12. Fueled by anger, he engages in conflict with the Jews and Christians who are faithful adherents to God's rules and the witness of Jesus as the savior of the world, Revelation 12, 17. Satan's deep-seated bitterness for the eternal agreement God established with Israel manifests in relentless efforts to annihilate God's promise to the Jews. Christianity divinely incorporated into Israel as an act of God's compassion in Romans 11 faces Satan's animosity due to their participation in God's covenant with Israel. Sadly, in this invisible cosmic chess game, people unknowingly move towards the goals of Satan's malevolent powers. The origins of hostility against Israel and the Jewish people are found in the shadowy realm of malevolence, an unseen yet unquestionably powerful force that shapes human existence today. From the dawn of time, this unending struggle has been an intrinsic part of human existence, persisting until the unjust world that Satan created comes to an end. Yet a glimmer of hope appears on the horizon, promising a new life radically different from the previous one, a transition from the very sublime to the ultimate level of flawlessness. Satan, the ultimate tyrant orchestrating chaos, faces a destiny marked by the impending birth of a new era, and the fulfillment of the prophesied millennium, a new heaven and a new earth as envisioned in the book of Revelation. As believers, we are acutely aware that the power within us, emanating from God, surpasses the forces wielded by Satan, evil fallen angels and demons entrenched in the worldly realm. 
In this complex narrative of good and evil, the flow of cosmic forces continues to shape humanity's fate, yet leading towards the promise of a new and refined age that is soon to come. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe to Grace Prophecy Network.